welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I'm Lindsay, this is Lindsay's World and we're here to just have a cup of catch up now however I have already drank my coffee during the last video so we're going to stick to water. <sighs> Where have I been? What have I been doing? It has been so long. I actually, I opened up iMovie earlier to look at editing one of my videos and I seen the last video that I was editing and if I'm right, it is 2021 in the early months that I was editing that video. I cannot believe it has been so long. So much has happened. Life has changed so much. I'm in a new setting. I'm at the salon, but the salon is not in the same place as you will remember. My last videos, guys, um, I did a lot from the salon. I don't think I was really filming from home anymore, which is leaving my home. I moved house, I moved salons. I, what am I doing? <laughs> life is mad, life is hyper. I have 20 minutes until my next plan. So let's just have a 10 minute chat. I've talked for about two already, so we don't need some time. Let's just get into it. Um, so yeah, life is different. My husband and I finally, finally are in our home. We are in our forever home. Oh my goodness, I'm getting emotional. So, you may remember my mother-in-law passed away. Whew. Gosh, I did not expect this turn. Where did the hyper girl go from the start? Anyway. So yeah, so my mother-in-law passed away and we started the very, very long process of uh, probate and owning the house. And honestly, guys, probate was a an absolute So the solicitor that we originally had had been working with the family so many times over the years and we had, he had moved firms and stuff and he was supposed to get the the deeds from the original firm and bring it over to where he is now and well long story short i'm not going to go into it because obviously it's it's not just my story it's my family's story and the, my my in-laws are are very private people so i'm not that's it is what it is but um yeah he did nothing for a whole year so we ended up having to move on to another to the solicitor who held the deeds, we, we started working with them directly. And so a whole year had gone past and nothing was done. And, and then we started the lengthy process then of actual probate. And oh, let me tell you, by the time we were applying for the mortgage for the house and, and all of that, I was just at the stage, we, we've done so much decorating, as you may remember last year, but we still weren't sure that this house was going to be ours. Um, so in November we applied for the mortgage and we were waiting to find out and then our landlord came to us and told us he was selling our house that we were living in. So we were like, right, okay, so no matter what, we need to move into this house. So at the end of December, New Year's Eve, we moved in to our new home and we still have work to do. We have a couple of rooms that aren't finished, um, but we had enough done that we could move in. And let me tell you, it has been a lovely few months. We love our home, we love where it is. My husband grew up in that house, there were so many memories. I was very, very, I was very aware, I'm very aware of the time as well. Um, I was very aware that I was gonna be moving into a house that had a lot of memories, a, a lot of happy ones, a lot of sad ones, and here we go. Whew. So both my in-laws passed away and not home. Both my in-laws were looked after by me in that home. Obviously, along with the rest of the family. I was there every day. I was there every day with their dad. And, and you know, to me, they were just mum and dad. And they were everything to me. And with my mother-in-law who passed away during 
um, one of the circuit breakers during the pandemic, it meant because we were closed for so long, because we weren't working, I saw her every single day for hours on end. I spent so much time with her. So I was really, really worried about what it was going to be like to live in that house. And when we moved in, we hadn't changed the dining room. So every time I looked in it, my heart just broke constantly. Because everywhere else was beautiful. It was done up. It was ours. It had our stamp on it. But every time I stepped foot, even now, our kitchen isn't done. I won't be for quite a few years, but um, every time I step foot into the kitchen or into the dining room, I was transported back and I would feel all the emotion, the trauma, the, the heartache. But even the heartache of whenever the house was empty and having to deal with it, there's, there's videos of me. Excuse me. There's videos of me sitting crying my eyes out because I'm so stressed, I'm so broken, I'm so upset. So it's been a tough, tough road. And tomorrow, guys, by the time you watch this, it'll be finished. But tomorrow, the funds are released by the mortgage company. So it will finally be done. Two and a half years. Oh, and we're going to have our forever home. Honestly, I'm so happy. My husband and I just feel so blessed because we never thought we would ever own a home. We thought we'd be renting forever and that worried me, especially for him because his job is so physically demanding and so physically, excuse me, so physically draining. So I was worried about what that effect would have on him. And then also the other side of it is, what did it mean for me as a person who has chronic illnesses, as a person who is, who knows what life has in store for me, who knows where that's going to go. Um, I don't want to work until I'm fallen to pieces. I want to be able to retire early. And so, yeah, we have our home. So <laughs> in because we thought everything was going to take another year in August, I came to view this place, which was just, it just perfectly timed. Um, we really needed to expand and the place we were in, there was buildings getting knocked down left, right and center around us. So this place came along. We were the first people to view it. And I said to the lander, I said, please, please give me a couple of days. Do not give it to anyone else until you speak to me. And I did everything I could. I got the money together. I borrowed, I <laughs> borrowed and I oh, robbed Peter to pay Paul. And honestly, I just knew that I had to have this place. We have two floors. We have multiple treatment rooms downstairs. We have multiple treatment rooms upstairs. We have so much. I have LM Creations on the other side of this wall here behind the camera. Um, there is so much still to be done. I'm losing one of my girls to maternity leave this week, which is stressful enough. Um, so I am in the hiring process. I'm hoping to get a girl on, on an apprenticeship. And, you know, there, there's been a lot going on. And so we moved here in November. And then in December, I moved house. It's like, what was I thinking? The start of this year has been really, really, really tough. I've struggled so much mentally, I've struggled so much emotionally, and I I have learned a lot about myself over the last few years. I've come to I've come to terms with the fact that I very clearly have ADHD and it's actually made me learn so much more about myself. Um I am trying to get uh, further with diagnosis and all of that stuff, but it's as an adult it's really, really hard to do. They don't want to diagnose you as an adult. Um they don't want to medicate you either. So there's so much happening. There's so much going on. But I miss YouTube. And this is something that's always, always, always in my head. And, and I have a ring light at home. And not even just the ring light. I have my gimbal at home. And 
And I was, I, I'm doing TikTok and I enjoy doing quick videos that I don't have to edit and all of that. But my heart belongs here. I know this is a very long, lengthy, drawn out flipping video to say I want to come back. I don't know what capacity I'm coming back in. And I've said, I don't know how many times I've said I'm back, I'm coming back and all of that. But I, I want to make this work. I want to be able to do this. So I have my MacBook Pro. I have the ability to edit the videos. I just need to fix my brain into um, being organized enough to upload videos. I'm only going to upload maybe one to a week maximum and keep doing my TikTok. And we've just set up a Discord for chronically ill people, um, which I will, there will be a link tree thing there will be all the links down below anyway um i need to update my intro and outro and guys it, it just makes me being blonde like look at this i'm on my way look i'll show you the pictures like i was i was a blonde i i never say never i'm getting my hair done at the end of this month and i, I might just oh sometimes i look at it and i'm like yeah this is gorgeous i love my brown hair and then i sit like this and i'm like no i'm not ready enough to be blonde it's very ashy it's it's very washed out now because i haven't done it since september i also um i had a an undercut for a while which was ridiculous but i'm growing that out i don't know what i'm doing with my hair honestly guys it's just nuts but i definitely I definitely understand myself a lot more. I definitely accept myself a lot more. And I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much about other people around me. I, I am having to, to do a lot of adjustments in my life. And yeah, life is good. It's hard, but it's good. It's stressful, but it's good. I have a lot to be thankful for. And, and there's a lot to come. I have a lot of fundraising stuff to do. Um, I have an amazingly great nephew that wait till you guys hear all about him. I just, I've never shared him on social media because um, he's he's my great nephew, but we have such a relationship. But once I can tell you all about that, um, once I tell you about the fundraising and everything, I just, you guys are going to love him too. This kid is just, he will knock your socks off. So I'm going to leave you on that note. Just be prepared for a lot of stuff. Um, but you'll cry, you'll laugh, you'll love him. He is, it's just the best. And he's the best thing. He, he just, he came at a perfect time. He was born a couple of months after my mother-in-law passed away. I wish she'd met him, but you know. Anyway, I'm gonna end here because I have talked for 16 minutes. I need to edit this down. I don't know how I'm going to edit this down to 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me in my cup of ketchup where I drink water the whole time. Cup of ketchups. I think we need to do these every month again. But come catch up over on Discord. Um, come chat to us. Liz and I are, are very excited about uh, a few things that we have in the pipeline. Anyway, guys, I love you all so much. I've missed you. I don't think you get just how excited I am to, to do this, to be talking to a camera. Yeah. I think sometimes whenever I see my videos and whenever other people see me, it's like, yeah, how did she not know she had ADHD? How did she not know that? Anyway, guys, I love you all so much. See you next time. Bye.